to another reaction video and today we are checking out another anime opening that has been so insanely recommended since all of you. Literally since I reacted to the Overlord openings you guys have been filling up my comment sections with more openings, more reactions, more videos that you guys think I'm gonna like and one of them that has been at the top of every single comment section since I asked all of you to give me more and more recommendations to anime openings you think I'd like is this one right here. Re Zero. All of you have said I'm gonna love these openings. I'm gonna check out the openings and if you want me to, maybe I'll check out the endings as well. I am very, very curious about this one because the second one, it says opening two, part one and part two, and there's two different songs. So that's the first time I've seen that. Not quite sure what that means, but I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short for all Unblurred reactions because sadly I can't upload the Unblurred reactions to YouTube. It won't let me. So all Unblurred reactions get uploaded to Patreon. Also, we do in-depth discussions on all the animes we check out here on Twitch. Link in the description. Enough of my talking. Let's jump into my first time ever reaction to ReZero anime opening. Right, I am now 100% convinced, 100% convinced, you all have me figured out. <laughs> you all have me figured out, 100%. Because these recommendations come from all of you in the comment sections, and all of you are like, oh, you like this? I think you're like this. And I think you guys just know me now. <laughs> I honestly think you do, because the last few we've done, the last like few we've done have been perfect. In my opinion, have been perfect. I've listened to them and I've gone, Okay, I love this, and I download them, and I listen to them again. You guys are fucking crushing these recommendations. This is awesome already. 40 seconds in, awesome song. Interesting. Interesting. What's so interesting about this one is with openings, usually you see quite a lot of the show. Like every opening I've checked out, they show you a lot of the show. It almost feels like you're watching a trailer for the show in some instances. But with this one, it showed very little. It just kind of showed the characters. It didn't show any kind of plot, any kind of story, just glimpses of the characters, a lot of artwork. But other than that, it really didn't show much. Watching this, I could not even begin to tell you what the show was about. Not even a little bit. I don't know who the main character is. I would guess it was the main guy in that in, in what we just saw in that opening. But other than that, I, I have no idea. Like, seriously. I have no clue. And I like that. It's, uh, it's interesting. Every opening I've checked out usually shows quite a lot of the show. This is the first time I've seen that. The song, by the way. The song. I think the song's called uh, Redo. The song's awesome. The song is awesome. Love the vocalist, love her voice. Is it the vocalist all of you said I would really like? There is a vocalist a lot of you have been saying, if I like Lisa, I'm going to love this vocalist. And I've, that's been like filling up my recommendations a lot recently. Is this the same one? Because fucking hell. Awesome voice. Right. This is this is where it gets confusing because it says season two um, opening, realize. But then the next one we have is uh, season two opening, uh, Paradis Paradoxium. Um, it's the first time I've ever seen two openings in one season. Interesting. Uh, where they're not o marketed as opening two, opening three. So, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, we're on to the next one, which is 
realize. I just want to pause it for one second to say, I swear I'm seeing like different dead versions of himself. Are there like multiple versions of this guy? That's where I'm seeing that. Also, once again, once again, the soundtrack from this show is proven to be fucking awesome. The vocal, is this the same artist? It sounds very similar. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like that one teased us a little bit more on the animations. You guys like it when I try and guess or I try and talk about what the show's about, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um You know right, right. You know what it was giving me? So I wasn't sure whether this was gonna be like a dark adult themed one or a lighter one with was because anime it sort of goes one way or the other. It's rare you sort of get one that sips in between. Maybe the closest is like something like one punch man, maybe I don't know. But it's rare you get something that sits in between. Again. I'm still completely clueless. The only anime I've ever seen is Attack on Titan. So for, so for me, this whole world is new. So all of this is just like guessing and speculation. But one thing I do know a lot about is games. And this gave me Darkness vibes. You know the Darkness game? The main character was his, his, the protagonist. is called Jackie in it. Uh, he gets killed. Spoiler alert. And uh, gets possessed by demons. It happens right at the start. <laughs> all right. And um, it's awesome, but that's what I felt like with this. It felt like this guy was on the brink of dying, or repeatedly dies, and gets brought back by a demon, similar to the darkness, which is which is why it felt like that. He saw his dead bodies, and then he was about to die again, and and uh, and then this like demon that was pretending to be good or, or something like that brought him back. I don't know, but that, it gave me the darkness vibes. Anyone played Darkness? Absolutely awesome game. But again, the song was awesome. I. I think it's the same artist. I'm looking at the name now. I think it's the same artist. I don't know if it's the same artist done all of these songs, but I really, really, really love this voice. Love the sound. Love the style. Um, ah, interesting. I've just checked the next opening, Myth and Royd. I really liked a lot of their songs I've checked out so far. Myth and Royd, don't miss. Their songs are fucking awesome. Myth and Royd. All right. Okay. Whoa. With that being said, let's jump into the last opening. The soundtrack for this show, by the way. Fuck it out. Like I said at the beginning, you guys have crushed it. You guys have me completely figured out. <laughs> completely figured out. You know exactly what I'm going to like. You keep recommending stuff. I am yet, it's like, for the last three weeks, I'm yet to react to an anime opening and, and be like, oh, not a big fan of this. Like, every single one has been 10 out of 10. Anyway, Myth and Roy, the last opening on the list for ReZero. The show looks insane. It looks kind of gory. It looks kind of dark. It looks like something I would enjoy. It really does already, and I haven't even seen much of it, but I'm very curious. And the songs, fucking awesome. Right, we got Paradisius. Is it Paradis? Paradus? Paradus? Paradoxium. Let's go.
giving like Final Fantasy vibes now. That's like a chocobo or something, and 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 like was it like a little sort of like fairy Pokemon looking creature? Like, I really I thought I knew what the show was about, and this opening has completely thrown me back to zero. Now I have no fucking clue. But like I always say, goddamn Myth and Roy, this singer love her voice. I love her voice so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Is it? What is it? So, right. Let's 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 before we jump into how absolutely insane those three openings were. Let's just let's just talk about what I think the show is about. So, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> Alright, I'm ready. Right. So, we had the main protagonist. At least I'm presuming that. However, you guys have corrected me a lot when I've said this person's the main character, and you guys be like, well, not really this person. So I might be wrong completely. If the main protagonist, we have. What appears to be a love interest, maybe? I don't know. Um, and the main protagonist is, like, cursed or possessed or something like that by this demon. And then he's, like, dealing with this demon. But then the demon starts going after his friend or his, his love interest in the last episode. I'm not even close, am I? I'm not even close. You are all looking at me right now going, nope, not even close. Not even a little bit. No, What you're saying doesn't make any sense. I don't <laughs> Come on! They're not meant to be trailers! How am I supposed to decipher what these shows are about? I feel like watch there's some there's some that have been good, like that have deciphered what the show is about. Like I check them out and I'm like, ah, oh, it's about this. Um I think Attack on Titan was like an opening, the first one I checked out, it did a good job. Um but they're not supposed to do that, right? They're not supposed to really. But then again, even now I think about the Attack on Titan opening, it doesn't. It doesn't actually. <laughs> I think that's just because I've seen the show, so I can look back at it with hindsight and be like, well, that fits here, that fits there, that fits there. So, yeah, as you now think about it, they all just confuse you. And the thing is, the more you check out and the more the story changes, the more it confuses you. Because the more you're like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like this one, for example. First opening, I was like, okay, no idea. Second opening, I was like, oh, it reminds me a little bit of the darkness. And then the third one, I was like, nope, it's nothing like the darkness. Now I have no clue what it's about. <laughs> like, no idea. Third one also looked a bit more tame. So it looked a bit gory in the second open, like animation in the background. This one, not so much gory, a bit more tame. So pff, no idea. What I will say is the show looks very well, like very well animated. It looks very good. Um, it looks kind of like dark, twisted, maybe a bit more story there, which I like. Um, so yeah, this is a show I'm curious about already. There's so many shows. The more openings I check out, I'm going to end up with a list of like 100 animes to check out. Like it just keeps getting longer and longer. But damn it. The openings. So good. So good. I love it when you get a female vocalist in these openings who just crushes it and crushes like the changing styles, like does the really nice slow piano Japanese sort of anime style of music that we hear quite a lot. But then when it picks up and you get the guitar coming in and you get the drums coming in, their voices kind of change and they can like adapt on the fly and their voices. I love it when their voices change to match the, the background instrumental as well. Well, that's one thing I love about Myth and Roy absolutely awesome because the tempo of the music's constantly changing and the vocalist is just there the whole time ah i feel like i need to lie down hold on Whew. let me catch my breath jeez well i've only got one question where do we go from here where do we go from here you all know how this channel works i only react to stuff that you will recommend so what we react to next comes directly from the comment section of this video what would you all like me to check out next i love this I love this. It's so much fun because I like, and I keep it all genuine. I keep it all honest on this channel. This is all so new to me still. We've only been doing this for like a month. Um, Attack on Titan is the only anime I've ever seen. And other than that, we're just like going through all of the openings to every anime ever. And then we go doing all the endings. And then we're doing all the soundtracks and doing all the spin-offs. We've got so much to explore. And we haven't even started watching a second anime yet, which I cannot wait to do. And then we can start hammering out more and more. This is going to be one hell of an awesome journey. And it just keeps getting better. 
God damn, the music's so good. The music's good. The shows are good. I'm so curious about this world. I'm so new to it still. I love it. I hope you're all enjoying these reactions as much as I am. I never thought I would be. Never. When people used to talk to me about anime, I'd be like, anime? Pfft, what are you talking anime? No. I watch real shows. I watch like Game of Thrones and Breaking Bad. You an anime fan? Go away. And now I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> anime is fucking awesome. It's so good. I, 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 I will happily admit that on camera. I was one of those ignorant people who like, really, like didn't think it was for me. That was the bottom line. I didn't think it was for me. I saw it and I had this, this representation and image in my head of what it was going to be like. I was like, anime is going to be like, um, or like very young, um, very playful, very fun, and I like more darker, serious stuff. So I was like, it's not, it's not gonna be for me. And then when I came into this world, and when I real, and like when I checked it out, people were just like, what you need to realize about anime is anime isn't a single genre. You don't have horror, sci-fi, action, romance, anime. Doesn't work like that. You have horror, sci-fi, action, romance, anime, and then inside of anime, you have horror, sci-fi, action, romance, like, that's how it works, and I didn't, that, that didn't hit me until I started going down this journey, and now I know that, I know there is so much for me in this world, and one thing I never, ever even considered was the music, it's just awesome, it really is a bottomless rabbit hole, and I'm just falling down, <laughs> falling headfirst down it with a giant smile, anyway, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video, like I said, all unblurred reactions ever on this channel get uploaded to Patreon, I have it on the lowest possible paywall that Patreon would allow me to have, I think it's like a dollar, um, and you get access to every single unblurred reaction on there, um, I can't upload them to YouTube, uh, it, I mean, you all know why, it doesn't let me, uh, otherwise I would. And yeah, and we, we do discussions about everything I check out here, and, and you guys give me recommendations of stuff on Twitch, so that's the best place, uh, link in the description. Other than that, have an awesome weekend, my friends! I cannot wait to see what you all recommend next. I love all of you amazing people, and I'm, uh, I'm hoping you're enjoying this journey with me. Anyway, as always, you will see me in the next video.